Hi, I'm Tom with RS Metrics, and today I'm going to show you how RS Metrics metal signals can help you track trends at global smelters and storage sites for aluminum, copper, and zinc, and also forecast price and inventory for those metals one and three months out. RS Metrics uses high resolution satellite imagery, drones, airplanes, and other geospatial data to measure production and storage at about 250 smelter and storage locations worldwide, including China and we're expanding the number of locations. At each location, we're measuring the amount of finished metal products that are stored outside, as well as inputs like concentrates and copper cathodes and anodes, and also vehicles like employee cars and trucks, which show other trends at each location. Raw data is produced using our machine learning and workflow system. Each row is a different observation from an image that gives the location, a timestamp, what material is there, how much of it, and also the information on vehicles and other data. The application metal signals shows a dashboard where each tile gives the prior six months of history for each location. You can switch between smelters and storage. We provide green and red and yellow traffic signals that are based on how much has changed recently at each location. If we click on this uh, aluminum smelter in China, for example, you can see what's happening there. At the end of 2016 and early 2017, a huge ramp up in production, which now has declined quite a bit. This information is available nowhere else in the world. We also provide rolled up numbers. So we can look at all of the aluminum smelters together, all the copper smelters, all the zinc smelters. For example, if we look at copper, you can see that there's red there, meaning that supply is down. We can impute any missing data, change the signal so that when supply is down, the signal is positive because lower supply should mean higher price. And we can change it to year over year growth. And what we see is if you could just follow our signals like an ETF, red and yellow down and green up. And more recently, a little bit of weakness in price expected because of higher production and storage so far this month. And then we provide forecasts for price and inventory. For inventory, you can see that when red, when, when the bar is painted red and it's down, it's correct. When the bar is painted green and it's up, it's correct. So copper down, up, down, up. Zinc and aluminum have been declines in inventory for a while now. And then price, you can see historically, zinc, for example, we've been perfect for the past 11 months with negative and positive directional forecasts. And right now for zinc, we've got one month out, price will be up. Three months out, price will be up. We'd love to hear more questions from you. Please contact us at info at rsmetrics.com. Thank you.